Edson Alvarez, who really, as of a couple days ago, looked like a sure deal to be headed to Borussia Dortmund, but now it appears that that move has fallen through over a month ago. It was first reported that personal terms had been agreed to between the 25-year-old Mexican midfielder and the Bundesliga club, but in the last 24 hours, Dortmund has apparently backed out the transfer fee, which was between 35 million euros, plus apparently an add-on of about 15 million, uh, was too much. Quote, an irresponsible amount. That's what one report out of Germany said. Uh, German reports saying that Emre Can, they're going to stick with him for at least another year in that defensive midfield spot. Guys, it seems like Ajax is setting the buy price for Edson Alvarez awfully high at 50 million euros. Are they threatening to ruin his club career? <laughs> is this for reals? I mean, listen, if I'm not mistaken, he's under contract 2025. I feel for Edson. He'll be 26 in October. The time to leave is now. Mm -hmm. It was actually a few transfer windows ago, and actually a transfer window ago it was Chelsea of the Premier League that offered 50 million for him, and I would have taken the money and ran. He's a great player. For my money, the best defensive midfielder in CONCACAF. But it's an insane amount of money. And you said one of those reports said it was an irresponsible amount. Listen, Edson Alvarez right now, he chose this path. And what I mean is if you don't want it, don't resign. Oftentimes mm -hmm. you think because that's what they indicate is if you resign, it's so we can get more money for you. You'll have more money on the market. You'll get more money in the transfer fee. Well, you're almost in a sense held hostage. Uh, this I don't want to say it's on Edson, or Edson, excuse me, but what else can he do here? It's not... Ajax ruining his career because of Ajax. People know who Edson Alvarez is in Europe because of Ajax. He's a known commodity, not only in CONCACAF, but around the world. Teams that watch Ajax, obviously. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not blaming Ajax here. Uh, clearly something happened because a month ago, I mean, and, and with this statement that it seems like an irresponsible amount of money, then why did you agree to terms with the player before? Something happened along the way mm. in the recent weeks. And I mean, for, I do not want to think that, and we actually joked with this, remember? After that game against the US in Las Vegas, and we said, wow. I certainly hope no one from Borussia Dortmund is watching this game because maybe they're gonna have second thoughts. I don't wanna think that's exactly what happened because scouting reports are not based only on one game. That's not the way it works, but what I find hard to believe is that now Borussia Dortmund is saying that that amount of money is irresponsible when they already had an idea of how much money Ajax was going to ask for for this player to the fact that it's been reported that they agreed to terms with the player. So something happened. It is surprising that the deal is no longer on the table when Edson Alvarez has been questioned because of his performance, I, I have to add the final weeks of the Dutch league. Mm. And now the Mexican national team. Did that have an impact mm. on this deal? Because otherwise, I find it hard to believe that it's just yeah. the amount of money. You can negotiate yeah. that amount of money. And, and you know what, Seb, may, may I add, uh, why are they evaluating him mm. so high? Because $50 million from Chelsea and an asking price of what you're saying is close to that as well. Uh, there's something that comes with Edson Alvarez. Obviously, it's a quality player. And obviously, there are teams that were interested at that price. Chelsea's price, I don't know. But he has a lot of interest with him comes a lot and what I mean a lot is the marketing now take this in a good way I will bet a good amount of money that he's one of the top in sales at Ajax and when they look at the North American market and what he can do for him he's certainly the flag bearer in Europe when it comes to Mexican soccer players field players for that yeah. matter yeah. I think that evaluation has a little bit to do with it besides his quality as well okay I'm wondering at this point how he can go back to Ajax right if they've passed on Chelsea they've passed on Dortmund he's been there five seasons now at this point? Like, what more does he have to prove? What more can he do there beating up on Groningen and go-ahead Eagles and Sparta and the like, right? I don't think that's a level that's going to really intrigue him much. Vitesse. I'm worried. I'm worried about this for Edson Alvarez because I don't think, guys, that, that this opportunity is going to come back, right? An opportunity to be at a club like Dortmund, which can compete not just for their domestic titles, but potentially to make deep runs in Europe. A club like Chelsea. You know, at this point, he's being now linked to, to clubs like West Ham, who have big money for sure coming out of the Premier League. Yeah. 
Uh, but that's a different level but of it's club, I think, league. even than a Dortmund, right? It's it's a, it's a it's a different type of club than a Dortmund. It's certainly a different type of club than a Chelsea. And Mao, I think you might be able to speak to this a little bit better than Herc. What's extremely frustrating from the Mexican fan standpoint is what have we been screaming about for the last years before the World Cup and certainly in the fallout after the World Cup? You need Mexican players at the elite level. There's a guy who has interest at the elite level and over. A few million euros, it's not going to happen. That's infuriating from a fan standpoint. Well, yeah, part, uh, part of our analysis after that World Cup disaster and the recent disaster that, ha that still is the Mexican national team is, uh, well, there are no players playing at the highest of levels of right. world soccer, right? No, no A-type kind of players, top-tier players. And Edson definitely has the qualities to be part of that elite group, but... Now I do question, is this, is this just a Dortmund v. Ajax thing, or is this something that goes deeper into how Edson Alvarez is now being evaluated by mm -hmm. top teams? And listen, even if he moves to West Ham United, that's not a bad deal. That's still playing in the Premier League. Yes. And, and if but you, it, it's a different level, right? It is a different level, but it's, I but, but it's still better than Ajax. No, no, absolutely. It's, it's still better than it's Ajax. Absolutely, but he, it's a different level he will play. What we have to remember here, and, and he's talking about, Mal's talking about that level that you want to see these Mexican players or Mexican fan play at, that level that is the A level. That window's going to start closing. Uh, he's going to turn 26 in October. Yeah, yeah. Every year after this, that window gets smaller and smaller and smaller, if not completely shut. So it's disheartening for fans because if you ever thought one of your players could be that player, it was Edson Alvarez. You would have bet the bottom dollar on it. Yeah. Ajax, uh, of course, uh, no Champions League either, so no, no chance to maybe show off to some of those bigger clubs. Uh, one last point to what you guys are saying about the, the bad performances, both against the U.S., kind of end of the Ajax season. We can even throw the World Cup in there. There are some reports out of Germany saying that Eden Terzic, the manager, is the one who kind of put the final axe on this deal. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.